Hello and welcome to my review of the entire new releases for Slaves to Darkness for Warhammer Age of Sigmar 3rd Edition. As usual, I like to have a full new release review video uh, once all of the new releases are, well, released for a particular army. And this is one such video. I did ponder uh, whether I should release this video much later uh, after picking up the Vanguard box set, which includes the old uh, Chaos Lord, five Chaos Knights with their new upgrade sprue, the old Chaos Chariot, and another set of 10 Chaos Warriors. I decided not to. I decided to bring this review of all the new releases uh, closer. I decided to bring out this new release full review video um, earlier. The other omission is of course the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount. I pretty much covered that. That's the alternate build for the Eternus box set. Uh, you can see Eternus is right there. But all in all, I've got all of the new uh, kits there. Slaves of Darkness is my second largest army uh, for Age of Sigmar. I do have a sizable force now of Gloomspite kits and Lumineth, and I'd like to expand into Maggotkin one day, once those armies are complete. No doubt, I'll pick, no doubt I will pick up the Slaves to Darkness Vanguard box set and the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount at some point in the future, but I wanted to give you this full range review as quick as possible. So it all started with the Slaves to Darkness army set box, uh, which you now cannot pick up. It was around for a little while, uh, towards the end of last year, and was at a reasonable price point of £120. With a third party discount, uh, you could actually pick it up for less than 100 offering even more value considering it consisted of two uh, box sets of Chaos Chosen, which are typically £37.50 each, so that's £75, just for those 10 Chosen you can see. It had the £47.50 Demon Prince, there you go, that's your, your money's worth right there, just on those three sets, but that's not all. Uh, it also consisted of the three Ogroid Theradons, which are another £40, and then the special edition battle tome uh, for Slaves to Darkness, which is not a small battle tome by any means. Uh, it's, and, it's 128 pages, so, so that's a nice uh, sized battle tome too, uh, along with all of the War Scroll cards and the power cards as well. Uh, the only thing I would say was missing from the set, uh, even though it offered tremendous value because it included all brand new miniatures, uh, was some dice. I mean, if there were some black dice with orange numbering, I would be completely made up because sometimes in the army sets, they do bundle in uh, some dice. But overall, fantastic start to the uh, Slaves to Darkness refresh. Then about a month ago, uh, we had the rest of the uh, releases in the form of the box set of Chaos Warriors. Are £37.50. I think it would have been great if they were sort of 30, maybe even a push to 35. But they're a nice kit. I just preferred the Chaos Chosen more. Um, but of course the Chaos Chosen, it's the same price, but you're only going to get five. Also released at the same time, we had the release of the Exalted Hero at quite a high price point really at £21. But there's no reason you can't proxy him as a Chaos Lord. He's certainly big, he's on the Terminator size base, he's as big um, as the Chosen, and definitely um, better, in my humble opinion, than the hero included in the Vanguard box set. The elephant in the room I haven't mentioned, even from the box set, is of course the Demon Prince. Wow, what a kit. One of my favorite kits, out of this whole new release is that Demon Prince. It's close between the Demon Prince and Eternus. The £47.50 might put some people off. Um, it's 
Similar in its scope to Eternus as well, in that it's a dual kit. You can either build the Age of Sigmar Demon Prince, which then you could technically use in 40k demons, or you could build the Demon Prince in its 40k kind of sci-fi armor. Eternus, similar story, but doesn't have that scope for 40k. You can either build Eternus or the Chaos Lord on Demonic Mount, which is also a fantastic miniature. If I had to pick one though, it, my favorite model in this whole release is that Demon Prince. Eternus is a very, very close second though. I thoroughly enjoyed building Eternus, and no doubt when I do eventually pick up a Chaos Mount, I'll have a lot of fun with that alternative build. Now the miniatures I didn't have the pleasure to build were the Chaos Knights, but they're the same Chaos Knights uh, that, was released, that were released a few years ago, albeit with a new accessory sprue and the old Chaos Lord in the Vanguard set. I wish there were more uh, in this release. It was a good release, um, a decent refresh, especially for the Chaos Chosen models. It's great that we finally um, have a, you know, battle line standard Chaos Warriors box set too, along with that Demon Prince. And the Demon Prince definitely needed a refresh and it's good to see a new character such as Eternus and that um, Chaos Lord on, on Mount. I have to say one of the best um, refreshes are those Chaos Chosen. They're fantastic miniatures, they're massive, there's a lot of presence with them. Yes, they're expensive, but they are huge. And if you go into it thinking that they're bigger than Terminators or they're the Age of Sigmar Terminator equivalent, then you will be pleasantly surprised um, if you pick them up. Yeah. There are other refreshes that I wished. Bellacor is still a new miniature and Archeon is holding up very, very well as a miniature. If you have a Slaves to Darkness army, you really owe it to yourself to pick up um, either Bellacor or Archeon or both. Archeon is an absolute joy uh, of a miniature. So they don't need refreshing, but there are a couple of single miniatures that need refreshing. I'd, I'd love to see some kind of Chaos Dragon or new Manticore or um, some new creatures uh, for Slaves to Darkness maybe even a, a different take on the Varangard box set. Also new chariots and yes, new marauders. I know that they aren't the best in game, but it would be good to have a refresh of the marauders and all of the marauder horsemen. It's great that the battle tome is decent too. There's a lot of units for Slaves to Darkness now, especially with all of the warbands and the different factions. Some of them worship chaos different ways, uh, but it's fantastic that they're all included. When I first thought about picking up a Slaves to Darkness army, I thought, okay, you're just gonna have Marauders and Chaos Warriors in the um, battle plate and some Chaos Knights, maybe a Sorcerer and a Lord or a, and possibly even a Demon Prince. And I managed to stay clear of some of the older kits like the Chariot and the old uh, Chosen. Um, but there's no way I would have envisaged that there'd be loads of different warbands and different big creatures as well, like the Theradon and the Fomeroid Crushers and the Sphyranxes and things, and things like that. There's a lot of variety in, this, in the modern Slaves to Darkness army now. And I don't see another big refresh coming for them anytime soon. But there are definitely uh, a few units in the army that they could update. Overall, I've been very impressed with this Slaves to Darkness set of new releases. Please do put in the comments below what you think of the refresh. And also don't forget to put what your favorite miniature in this Slaves to Darkness range is. Hope you've enjoyed all the Slaves to Darkness content in this series. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Archeon Protects.